I scare the pigs, but I don't. Sweet Dakota Fanning has a new film and a new friend. Open it. Dakota Fanning is down on the farm, and she's down with one of the most popular stories of all time. Excellent. Fern, wait. Why don't you go to the Whites or the Sergeants today and play or... <laughs> That fly out of my nose. Charlotte's Web has moved from page to screen, and this is some pick movie. Let me watch that. She's so timeless, and to get to be able to to play her in a film, and I'll get to show my children, you know, that I got to be in Charlotte's Web is, I think, one of the most reasons that I wanted I wanted to be a part of it. Make lots of new friends here. Well, just be yourself. Wait, Fern, come back! Pigs out! Pigs out! Pigs out! Run, pig! Be free! Yeah, pig, 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 pig! No! You're out, and you're back in. Yeah, this is a classic, and it's a lot to live up to. Hi there. Oh. You wanna play? I don't play. I gnaw, I spy, I eat, I hide. <laughs> Me in a nutshell. Did you just say the rat? Steve Buscemi provides the voice of Templeton. And just when you think this grown-up is going to say something grown-up... The rat rules! We were here long before your kind, and we'll be here long after. So you just keep that in mind next time you feel like reducing me to just the rat. I went out and um, I talked to a lot of rats and uh, tried to get a feel of you know what their concerns are and wanted to make sure that I represented them, uh, which is it's kind of foolish because each rat is an individual, and so a lot of them had their own agendas. I can call me that. You can't. So in the end, I had to sort of forget about that and just create this character for my for my for myself. Of course I do. It's Templeton. Don't listen to him. Just run, pig. Run. Be free. I would if I could. Oh, well, you know what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I guess it was the fact that as a boy, I grew up a goose and I morphed into a man about 11, about ages 11 and uh, through 12. So I knew the inner uh, world of uh, geesedom. You need something snappy, like Pig Supreme. Sweetheart, it sounded, sounded almost like you said you'd run and be free if you could. I meant if I were a pig. Well, actually, I had to, um, I had to, to do a, a couple of classes, you know, one at a community college, and then I had to go to uh, the Geese Institute of America, uh, GIA. And <laughs> uh, where uh, one of the top uh, geeseologists uh, in the world, Dr. Von Gusenberg. Yeah, they don't, they don't think it's real, but it is. That thing is creepy. Golly. You're not being rude, are you? No, no, I meant creepy in a nice way. You know, creepy good. It was a two-week uh, crash course on uh, the flight of the goose, the goose walk. You had to speak goose. Um, uh, and uh, and that, that is, hello, and how are you in my native uh, voice of... Uh, it isn't fair! I want to live! And you will. Spider, get away! Salutations. My name is Charlotte. Charlotte A. Cavatica. Hi. I've never met a spider before. What are you doing? Making breakfast. One more cast member and one more chance. Music star Andre Benjamin is also caught up in this web. I'm making you a promise. I am going to save you. You're a spider. How are you going to stop them? With the right words, you can change the world. It's kind of like a historian. You kind of want to keep certain things around that meant something to you. And um, I think uh, like great things, classic material will always be around. So I wanted to be a part of this classic material. It's a necessary work, and I always want to try to align myself with like necessary work. I'm a gonna get me some rat. Ah! Ah! The rat has been spotted. Oh, ah! find some words. The rat will never find words. Look, words. Yeah, I took the role really seriously. You know, I had um. I did like method crowing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, back to the kid. There is some message in this movie, right? My babies. I think that's important for everyone to, you know, appreciate everyone while they're here because you know nobody is here forever. Mr. Superman! 
And the spider, you know, dies of its own, you know, life cycle and not squished under a size 13 shoe like most spiders. How could this have happened? A miracle. That's all the time we have for this week's show. Thanks for yours. And we'll see you next time when Hollywood One on One takes you to the stars. Mom, will you put these in for me? Ew! You look like a girl! I'm still hit like one.